Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Bird Squala Commentary. Commentaries in Mike Tyson's Punch Out. This is Dr. Jerome Born. And Shangular 2. And round 2 against Piston Honda. Or the Stop the World Circuit. The Weekly Eye Man. And from th this part, and for the rest of the things that I'm going to be doing for this game, it's all blind. Yeah, well, well, it seems you still seem to have a little bit of a luck on your side, because I think you just got an instant KO on Mr. Honda here. Uh, I still remember a few little tricks, like from our first match. And that's gotta be depressing. The guy got all the way up to an higher rank. Oh, I saw that puffin scar. Oh. Actually, before Sorry. the NES game, uh, the arcade game, he was actually called Vodka Drunkinski. Yeah. Yeah, I know the story, but they just simply had to change it because they didn't want to keep the image of a, a more of a kid-friendly company. So Kratinsky doesn't quite spell kid-friendly necessarily. I don't know why. Anyway, I have, I have trouble with what. Uh, what? Wow, I'm about to say he's ruined. Just sort of pop in because I'll, I'll just find him a bit easier than what would. Um, yeah, but speaking of sort of a biscuit it being easy, I apologize my <coughs> grunted scream there, but I just had horrible experience from Punch Out We rushing into my mind because Jesus Christ, Soda Popinski wrecks my shit and skull in that game every single goddamn time! Oh my god. <laughs> His head looks like a dick. <laughs> um, yeah, either that or a, an upside down soda pa, soda bottle. <laughs> Whichever way you want, your mind works, I guess. Also, I gotta say, he's a really pink-colored man from Russia. Or a Russian, I should say. What color do you expect Russians to be? Blue? <laughs> and also, I think outside of a Super Macho Man, also the only other boxer that for some uh, reason decided to, to start boxing in his freaky swimming trucks. Well, well, I. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, not again! Sorry about that, my video player. Once again, bros! God damn, Fabinski, are you cursing me? Even beyond, beyond your normal boundaries? Fuck you, dude! Fuck you! Okay, okay, so, let's just classify this right. Clarify this right. Your video player stopped playing. It, like, you haven't played it yet. Now, I. Well, Wait, it, it just stopped for a second when Soda Popinski started laughing a few minutes ago. So, I was wondering that what the hell did. The, the, was there some sort of problem with the robot? But no, my video player just isn't. Up and it's running now again, so at what marker are you at the moment? <laughs> 3 minutes and 36 seconds. <laughs> because my media player stopped playing also. Wow! <laughs> what the fuck, son of Fafinski? We gotta keep Jesus this in. Christ! Oh yeah. 
Ah, uh, yeah, Bald Bull round two. I'm, oh, by the wait. way, if you're wondering where I am, I am pretty much right about five minutes now. Alright. I think I'm up to, yeah, five, just over five minutes now. Okay, so we are not too far away from each other, but seems like Bald Bull decided to keep wreck your shit this time <laughs> around. <laughs> Yeah, as I mentioned in the text, the kids gloves have come off and it's time to run with the big dogs now. Yep. But I... seriously, so the Fofinski, what the fuck, since when the hell did he have the powers beyond the fourth wall? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know how the hell I'm going to edit this, this weirdness into the episode. So to my end, but fuck it, we're keeping this in. <laughs> that was just way too golden. God damn. Uh, you would not believe this, but when I was up against Bull Bull, I was actually like, I actually just had like a piece of paper and a pen, and I was just marking every time, like marking like every take I did, and I was just like, and I'll circle this take. Like, I circle the take, so indicating that I'll keep that one in. Oh, okay, so... Wow, that's... Some dedication, my man. I... I tip my hat to you. <laughs> but... Was, the, was this, by the way, really take 14, or was yeah, that just... take 14. Or did you just exaggerate it a little bit? No, take 14. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, this is nothing. You wait until we get up to uh, yes. Macho Man. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking about that, I... Not the spell too much ahead, but I actually noticed that you didn't seem to have that much of a problem with... <clears throat> with certain resident of the Dreamland, actually. Or was it the... I think... Or wait, was it the, the next wall? Uh, I think it's in the next part. Oh yeah, okay. Whoops. So, okay, so, uh... <laughs> little bit of a, a little bit of a hit, but... What? Yeah, you're... You're predicting the future here, Doc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and finally, after over 30 takes, you... Uh, 25. I think. Seem to... 25 takes, you seem to take it. Finally, big day over him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so let's break this down a bit. Okay, so the big man in the swimming trunks from Soviet Russia, who is shaved his head, is shaved either like a dick or a soda bottle, that's the priest, one of our video players. And then. This big bull from Budapest decides to keep you in the beating of a lifetime and makes you take over 25. It takes off the fight. What the hell is going on? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, and the only way you can beat Bull Bull in this round is by doing an actual uppercut on him. He won't. Oh, okay, so. As soon, if you punch him okay, when so his health is down low, it will he will he will not fall down, he will regain a bit of health. Ah, okay. Okay, but it's just a normal uppercut will do it. Yeah, uh yeah um, a star punch. Basically. Oh okay, so it is the same as in the Wii first, because in title defense, Bald Bull doesn't go down otherwise he any other way than with star punches. Yeah. And the bastard really makes sure that it's going to be a real hard time getting any stars from him, so... Oh yeah, yeah. That can fuck you up pretty bad. <laughs> Sorry, I just had... Uh... Right over you. Sorry, I actually had to crack a can open for Soda Pop Gimski. Due, due to his amazing ability of stopping both our media players at the same time, somehow. 
yep. And in case, and in case you people aren't convinced how incredible that is, take this in consideration. I'm the guy talking all the way from Northern Europe, from Finland, and Shanik is all the way down and down under. <laughs> that's one hell of a distance to that's to somehow stop two video players at once. So mm. I didn't know Soda Popinski was a magician, but apparently he is. I think it has something to do with the. Uh, Chemically enhanced soda he was drinking in the punch out Wii version. Oh, yeah. New Cacola. <laughs> I had to get Bulbul's health up just enough for me to uh, do a one last star uh, punch on him this round, I think. Down the At last. And next up, I oh no, it wasn't the title bout yet. No, it's still got this guy and the next one. And then oh, we the have the dream part. Two, no, not then... the dream fight, uh, tied about, that's it. And then the dream fight. Okay. Anywho, round two again. Don Flamingo. Now, how did Don Flamingo actually surpass Gold Bull and Soda Popinski in World Circuit? I mean, he should have been in, uh, ranked four or something. Yeah, I, I kind of have a feeling that this boxing organization doesn't quite place their fighters according to any sort of a logic. Just saying. That or then... Actually, no, I'm not going to go with that joke. That would have created way too many creepy talks. <laughs> Oh, Don Flamingo, I really hate you so much. Hey, it's the Toxic Avenger! What? Uh, when his face was paused at that three minute mark, it looked like... He looked like Toxy from Toxic Crusaders or Toxic Avenger. Really? I did see the resemblance. Wait, have you actually seen the show or, of Toxic Crusaders or the movie's Toxic Avenger? Uh, well, I've only seen clips of the Toxic Avenger, or that is assuming that we're talking about the same freaking movie, but... Uh, yeah, I, I think, I'm pretty sure we're both talking about the same thing. Uh, just to make sure, it's Toxic Adventure, basically the kid who gets exposed to nuclear stuff and basically becomes hideously deformed Hulk or something. Yeah, that's him. Okay, so we are talking about the same movie. In that case, I don't quite see the resemblance. Sorry. <laughs> Of course, you're talking about how he looked in his human form because. No, it was just like, um. Just when he's about to do his roundhouse punch, I think it's called. He. Put, his face does like a certain look on it. Okay. Well, still, sorry, don't oh. quite see the resemblance. Oh, well, man, you're so beaten up. I actually had get, I made Dark Meth give me a massage, and look at how much help he gave me back. Nothing. Goodbye. Space. 
<laughs> this side's right back. I, I think that was the only time I ever uh, got a star punch on this guy. Well, looking at how Dumplin' may go bites here, he doesn't really give too much. To get star punches, or at least the star punches. Somehow I, I did not. To be a, a little bit risky to get. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was smashing the buttons on like, get up, back, get up, get up, get up! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. No, sorry. So it's uh, still the the eyes the eyes aren't aren't in the right way. Otherwise, I would accept their resemblance. But <laughs> sorry, no. That doesn't quite resemblance. <laughs> All right. But uh, that seems to conclude this punch out episode. In which the Russian man nearly sabotaged it. Uh, yep. I still don't get how the hell he did that, but he just did. Anyway, uh, I'm Shank02, and. And Dr. Jerry Bourne. And we. Shall see you guys in the next part. See us all later. <laughs>